Now, while Nikki got to spend a few nights at the Rosario Resort, oh, yes. I stayed at Otter's Pond, an amazing bed and breakfast with a truly amazing breakfast in the morning prepared by the owner, a trained chef, Amanda Zimlich, with ingredients straight from the backyard. Amanda, I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying my stay here at Otter's Pond. It is oh. so comfortable, and your breakfast this morning was <laughs> amazing. Oh, good, I'm so glad, I'm glad. Well, there's two things that you can't skimp on. You can't skimp on your shoes, and you can't skimp on your mattress. So <laughs> those two things I try to- The try mattress to is really amazing. <laughs> The truth is, Amanda's attention to detail stretches far beyond the mattresses. The well-thought-out spaces are immaculately clean and welcoming with areas to read and relax or to just enjoy a glass of wine and take in the spectacular scenery. Cooking with the ingredients from here, specifically Orcas, I like to try to tell the story to the guests that stay here um, and to friends and family that, that, um, that I cook and eat, eat meals with. Um, that connection, and I think we do that best through the cooking, the flavors. You know, there's so much beauty on the island, and there's obviously a lot of folks want to come visit, but what's your hope for visitors to the island? What do you, how do you want them to view and protect their, the island while they're visiting? I really want people to see not just what we have in terms of the ocean and the shoreline, I'm sure that's kind of a natural attraction, but I feel, I feel privileged because we've got Otter's Pond, which is inland. Um, and everybody sort of sees pictures of whales and orcas, and those are beautiful. And we want to we want to preserve them and and, um, um, and understand their behaviors. Um, but inland, we've got beautiful birds and a diverse group of uh, raptors, owls, and hawks and um, falcons and so forth. So this is kind of a, a natural setting to see what's inland and what's in the forest. And I want people to kind of walk away with an appreciation. Um, for the diverse um, species that we have just in Moran State Park, which we're right next door to. Um, and treading lightly, I think it's a big, a big message. My hope, and this is kind of like my secret strategy, but if I feed people really well for breakfast, they're not going to bring a lot of stuff into the park. <laughs> and they're not going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to be kind of mindful. They're going to be full, so they're not going to be um, leaving waste and things like that. You know, you really don't get an experience like this at every B&B, where you get to <laughs> have the most comfortable mattress I think I've ever slept on, and then wake up to a amazing breakfast prepared by a trained chef. <laughs> so thank you so much for having us and for showing thank us you. around and for all the background because it really has been a very comfortable stay. Absolutely. It's my